Alright, hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna make menthol from mint. As you can see, I'm in the garden because we have a lot of peppermint growing. If you grow some in your garden too, be aware it's quite invasive and you have to trim it down. What we're trying to get today is menthol. It's the chemical that makes the cold effect in your toothpaste or mint flavored gum, for example. It's contained in the mint oil and the best concentration of it is found in the leaves. So what we're trying to do is separate most of the stems to be left with more leaves. You can trim the leaves with your hands from the top of the stem to the bottom. This way the leaves get separated more easily. Then I chopped the leaves a little bit and weighted them. The bucket is like 900 grams and with the mint the total is 1200 so we should have approximately 300 grams of peppermint leaves. The next step is to create what's called a steam distillation. Menthol in itself is not really soluble in water but it forms a mixture in the gas phase called the nasiotrope. So we're gonna distill water with the leaves and in the steam produced some menthol will be carried over the condenser in the receiving flask. Since my 3 neck flask is only 1 liter, I will have to do multiple batches. I packed the most mint I cold in the flask and then I measured out approximately 150 ml of water in the beaker and put it all in the flask as well. As you can see I've added an addition funnel with water as well, in case we don't have enough. After some time of heating with the new hot plate we can finally start to see some condensation and then some distillate in the beaker. As always, the water boils at 97 degrees here, but don't worry, my thermometer isn't broken, I think. I'm just one kilometer high, or about 3000 feet in freedom units, so the pressure is lesser. As you can see, the distillate is cloudy because of the menthol that's not dissolved in the water, so it forms oily droplets like cooking oil. When the distillate is not cloudy anymore, most of the menthol should be extracted. As you can see, the mint leaves lost their color in the hot steam. When this was done, I removed the used leaves and put a new batch in. After all the batches, we are left with about 300 ml of water containing some menthol. To get only the menthol, we now have to do a liquid-liquid extraction with the solvent. I first planned to use chloroform as it has some leftover, but it ended up not working and I still don't know why. So anyway, I had to redo the whole leaf distillation with new leaf to get only 150 ml this time. For the solvent, I chose DCM this time as I had just received 1 litre of it. Alright, so here we have the menthol suspension and now we're going to ring, win, rinse both of the beakers with some dichloromethane which we're going to use to extract the menthol We're going to use approximately 50 milliliters. I poured the methyl water mix in the separation funnel as long with 50 milliliters of dichloromethane. Then I checked and vented the funnel a few times to extract as much methyl as possible. <laughs> I decanted the dichloromethane layer and off camera repeated this operation two more times. Then I heated the DCM solution on the hot plate with the fan on to boil off the DCM and be left with only methyl. So in the end I decided to put everything into this little test tube very tiny you can see compared to my finger but it's very cute 